In this session, we're going to look at how we can use code libraries beyond just the appearance or running a filter to extract the tasks. So in this project is a new project from a blank template, and we have some predefined code libraries, and we've got procurement stages in here. We'll just open that up so we can see that. And what we can do is with Power Project, one of the unique features of Power Project is we can draw multiple tasks on the line, like so, to represent the different stages of procurement. And I can drag and drop those across so I can see the different stages as they go through. So now one of the challenges here is that our start date, duration and finish date is the duration of the whole thing or the start of the, of the first task and the finish of the last task. But what happens if I want to see, for example, the design info start date, or design info duration? So all I'll do is I'll just add a new column in here, go down to date, choose duration. In my dialog for my duration, that I've just added in here, I can choose this. I can say, call this design info. And then I can choose specific task. Click on specific task here. Say I'm going to select it by code library. You can select specific task by selecting the specific number of task number. But here I'm going to choose code library. And then I'm going to choose under my procurement stages, I'm going to choose design info. Click on that and then close on that. And now my design info is seven, seven days. And if I click on this one here, you can see down here, it's seven days in duration. Now, not only this allows me to see this to any column I add, I can specifically point to a code library. It's also, I can go in there and I can change that. So I can make that 10 days and it will increase it. And obviously if I've got multiple tasks, I can just make them overlap. So if I do make a 15 days, you can see we've got that. But I could have a column for every one of my different stages for duration or start date or finish date and to allow me to see a procurement schedule in there. An example set up in here already is if I go down to my procurement, and I choose my procurement dates, you can see here we've got the different dates for the different stages on my procurement. And again, you can then also just turn off your Gantt chart and have that as a tabular format. And these dates are fully editable, people can change. 